Hello Gothic friends, Razmin is my name, welcome back to the world's last play of the world, Gothic 2 Live Edition Hardcore. In today's episode we are going to explore the pirates we got accepted by Henry without paying the toll to join their camp, well not join them but to be able to explore it. So here we have some NPCs that we can talk to, some pirates, not real NPCs, like they can do some stuff. We have to bring some meat for some guys and get the armor the main reason we are here is to get a, the bandits armor so we are going to talk with all the NPCs and do their quests and let them clear 104 gold why 104 I'm preparing for the next task that Greg's given me what task I mustn't say no offense kid but I've worked hard for the privilege and I don't want to lose it again can you teach me something I'm sorry, I've got no time right now. I've got some training to do. Who around here can teach me something? Henry and Morgan are leading our raiding troops. They could teach you how to be a better fighter. Henry's okay. people all use two-handed weapons. Morgan prefers the faster one-handed weapons. Who else? Beats me, I've never been interested in anything else. But I'm sure that Alligator Jack or Samuel could still show you a trick or two. Okay. The guy is quite useless for the time being. It's a bad business. So, hey, pirate. You. I couldn't get away yeah, th those are just generic NPCs. What about them stealing? Well, not stealing, but clearing. Nothing? Okay. What about Garrett, my friend? A fresh face, and not one of those filthy bandits, I hope. How do you know I'm not a bandit? If there's anything you need, ask me first. I can get you almost anything. Wine, weapons, and other stuff you might need. Except for booze. If it's a decent drink you want, go see Samuel. Noted. What about your money? Nice. Who's Samuel? He's our moonshiner. He's got his cave on the beach, a little distance from the camp. You can't miss it. Just walk north. You'll be well advised to keep yourself supplied with grog. Thank Some you. of the boys here aren't very fond of greenhorns at all. If you get my drift, a decent swig of grog can work wonders for you. I couldn't get away with that. Where do you get your supplies? Skip always brings loads of stuff from Corinus when he visits there. Until recently. He used to sell some of it directly to the bandits. But since anymore, we've been at right? war with the bandits, I'm the one who ends up with all the stuff now. You hardly know who to what do you know days. about the bandits? You'd better ask Skip Don't about that. Me. He's been through quite a lot with that bunch. Let me tell you, Greg has given orders to do away with any bandit who shows up near the camp. Your Captain Greg, what's he like? He's a tough old bastard, and no doubt about it. And greedy to the bone. He makes Francis, our treasurer, pay out not a penny more than what it takes to prevent a mutiny. And if one of us ever gets his hands on something really valuable, he'll inevitably take it for himself. I once took a compass from a royal frigate. That bastard Greg made me hand it over, of course. But he probably buried it somewhere. Just like the rest of his treasures. Where might Greg have buried that compass? Greg once told me that Death himself watches over my compass. Then he laughed. Anything else? There's a beach at the southern coast. It can only be reached by sea. Greg is said to have been there often. Maybe you'll find something there. So he's friends with the undead or what? Greg might find myself. But the area is teeming with monsters. If you really want to give it a try, don't forget to bring a pick. Not a pick, damn it. What can you tell me about Francis? Greg put him in command while he's gone. But Francis is a total failure as a leader. He can't even get Morgan to stir his lazy ass out of bed. Henry and his boys are the only ones doing anything around here. The others are just enjoying themselves instead of working. I can only hope that Greg will come back soon. He'll give them all a good swift kick in the ass. We can do this for Greg. Anything new? Nothing ever happens anymore since Greg left. Let's deal. 
So we can get a peak for... Oh, it's only 100, okay. Never mind, I thought it was more. But 100 we can afford. Fire protection, magic, uh, leather belt. Oh, this we can take. So we finally have a peak, that means we can start. Those are on strength, yeah. We can start doing the treasures. Hey, Matt. New here, are you? Great. We can use every man. Can you? You can use your wallet as usual. Ninety-one. They have odd this? numbers. Right equal. now, all's quiet in the camp, so I'm going to relax a little. And if I were you, I'd do the same. Since the bandits are here now, the situation may change faster than we like. Why are you yelling? What do you know about the bandits? You mean besides the fact that they're a deadly menace and outnumber us by far? Yes. yes. They're rolling in gold. Well, at least they were rolling in gold. They never paid for their last shipment. But I doubt that it's because those bastards ran out of gold. <laughs> it's more likely that they've gotten way too big for their boots. How are things? Right now, all's quiet in the camp, so I'm going to relax a little. And if I were you... I'd do the same. Since the bandits are here now, the situation may change faster than we like. Okay, noted. Brandon. Looky there, a newbie. And a landlubber at that. You're a bit scrawny for a pirate. Are you sure about that? Can you teach me something? Teach you? You bet. I could teach you to become stronger and improve your dexterity. But why would I want to do that? Because I'll buy you a drink. Not bad, kiddo. Got it. First try. But don't even good. bother to bring me some cheap rot gut. I'll get you some grog. Are you trying to poison me? I'm not touching that mock. Do you have any idea what's in there? Old Samuel has some good stuff as well. Go get me some of that. Have you yeah. ever tried Samuel's I don't know why they changed the lines of the voice no, with that what is written there. It's a must try. Oh, I love this concoction. Brandon can be stolen from weird, but we can steal the Iron pirate, I believe. The fire makes me bloodthirsty. Say, have you got some grog for me? Here, take a sip. Thanks, nice. Son. Agree with you completely. And there's more this looks so beautiful now, like for real. The trees and so and it's a much better than before in my eyes. Oh, the, the house got changed also. More, Look who we have here. What have we here? Crossing the path of old Skip again. Good that we are friends, right? The bay near the city, remember? Of course Skip, I remember. I see I made a lasting impression. But I've seen your mug elsewhere in the meantime. We are but quite course, famous, right? Uh, Everyone sees our mug. Except us. Well, not a great likeness, but it's certainly you. Don't let it get to you. My own wanted poster looks just as daft. Don't tell me you didn't know that. Well, your money as a good friend. I've got a package for you from Baltram. That guy must really be keen on our rum if he sends his goods after us all the way here. Here, give him these two bottles of rum. I quaffed the third one while I was waiting for him. Yeah, they like that they have a different line. You bring it here. What are you the package, doing? I mean. I've just come back from Corinus, and now I'm waiting for Greg to return. I saw Greg and Corinus. Really? Damn, something must have gone wrong then. He should have been here with our ship some time ago. Yeah. I suppose I should go back to Corinus and wait for him there. Ah, but certainly not today. I only just arrived here. He's going to kick your ass. What can you tell me about the bandits? The bandits? They're attacking us. Why do you think we're building this palisade? We brought those scumbags over here ourselves. We used to trade with them. Boy, let me tell you, they've got more gold than they'll ever know what to do with. 
They were prepared to pay any price for a bottle of rum. But those times are past. It's war now. Why? What happened? Those bastards hadn't paid for their last shipment. So I went there to see what had become of our gold. But when I got to the swamp, the swine attacked me. And that's not all. They killed Angus and Hank, two of our best people. How do you know that? Just stay away from that swamp, I tell you. They'll go after anyone who doesn't look as shabby as they do. Have you ever met Raven? Certainly. When I was with Henry up at the gate, I watched Raven place some of his boys at the tower to the south. Just a stone's throw from our camp. <laughs> I guess they're supposed to spy on us. I guess right. I've seen how he treats his people when they don't do his bidding. He'll make short shrift of anyone who doesn't obey his orders to the letter. Mark my words, stay well away from Raven. No can do. Tell me more about Angus and Hank. Angus and Hank were supposed to meet with some bandits in front of the camp. They were carrying all kinds of supplies. Everything those bastards had ordered from us. Forged steel and lockpicks and whatnot. But they never came back. The bandit swine must have done away with them. Morgan and Bill went out to look for them without any success. Bill was pretty devastated. They were both friends of his. He's still young. Oh boy, you do talk a lot. These things really get to him. The rest of us took it in our stride. The goods we can afford to lose. But the grog they were carrying. We're talking at least 20 bottles. Wow. About Angus and Hank? What? I found them. They're dead. Dead as doornails. Poor devils. What about the grog? Well, it was only to be expected. You should tell Bill, if you haven't done so yet. But break it to him gently. He's still young. I need Bandit's armor. You want to go in there? Are you insane? Nope. Once those guys find out, you're not one of them. You're sausage meat. Do you have any idea where I could find armor like that? Ah, you don't give up easily, do you? All right. We used to have a suit. Greg's probably still got it somewhere, up in his hut. Maybe you can buy it from him when he gets back. Can you tell me how to get into his hut? Wow, Skip really has a lot of information for us. You weren't thinking of ransacking Greg's stuff, were you? When he left, he gave the key to Francis and told him not to let anyone into his hut. Things would have turned out differently. What can you tell me about Francis? Francis is our treasurer. The captain trusts him. That's probably why he left him in command. But none of the boys here really take him seriously. If you want to know more, talk to Samuel. He's got his still in the little cave north of here. There isn't a soul in this camp Samuel doesn't know all kinds of things about. We don't have 20 bottles, right? You're missing 20 bottles, right? Yes, damn it. My entire stock. Can you take me to Corinna's? No way. I'm not leaving now. I'll find myself a decent swig of grog first. That was obvious all along. Have you got anything to sell? If you want to trade, go to Garrett. He's in charge of our supplies. I never knew that. Okay, skip, skip. Do you have stuff here that is not needed for you? Oh well, the sword is good. Lockpicks is not important to us anymore because we only need one lockpick. So we know more stuff about the pirates. Bill, you are here. Yeah, this looks so beautiful now. Hey, how are things going with you? What's up? Did Henry send you here? Tell him to get his planks as soon as I'm done. If he can't wait that long, he's welcome to saw them himself. What about your wallet? You should have lots of gold, right? 205. What are all these planks for? We use them for the palisade, you dimwit. Greg thought it would be a good idea to secure our camp this way. We can save ourselves the work, if you ask me. If the bandits are really planning to attack us, this ridiculous palisade isn't going to stop them. We should have never tolerated them in our valley in the first place. Oh, yep. If I'd known all this in advance, I'd have stayed in Corunus. 
Can I help you saw? Nah, I can handle this by myself. I joined up here not long ago, and letting others do my work won't get me anywhere if you get my drift. Okay, I don't. You've been to Carinas? Yes. I kept myself afloat there, picking pockets and doing a little swindle or two. But whenever fewer ships came in, business got worse and worse. At some point, I got tired of being on the run from the militia for a few crusts of bread. That's when I joined Greg. Now I'm stuck here, sawing all day to build a palisade that's of no use to anyone. They're not happy, I get. Can you teach me something? Well, I could show you how to pick other people's pockets unnoticed, but you should be fairly dexterous, or you can just forget it. We are quite dexterous, right? I found your friends. And? Where are they? They're dead. Those damn bandits did this. It's possible. Those cursed swine? May they roast in hell. <sighs> if only I knew the name of the lowlife who did this. We will find out for you. So the camp isn't as big. All oh, right, we have to clear the camp for the guy. More grog, or Mr. Mor from Mr. Morgan. Hey, you. Nothing easier. He's not dexterous. He's stupid or what? I'm here to deliver some meat. Ah, uh, I need a, a sip to wake me up. That's better. So again, uh, what do you want? I'm Money. here to deliver some meat from Alligator Jack. I remember. Right. The meat. Give it here. That's it? What are you doing here? Greg made me commander of one of the two raiding troops. I'm responsible for keeping the camp supplied. Alligator Jack sees to that. I'm also responsible for keeping those beasts you find out here well away from the camp. That's what the boys do. I told him I don't want to see a single beast left around here. When Greg oh, I like back. your job. Do you ever do anything yourself? Hey, none of that lip. Mine is the most important task of all. I train my people. I make them into the best and most fearless fighters who ever sailed these waters. Yeah, and it's right. not like the lads do all that work for nothing. They get a good sized bag of gold for their efforts. What do you think of Francis? I don't mind him, as long as he leaves me alone. Isn't he the boss around here? <laughs> he thinks he's the boss. I guess these guys are not good friends. Return, and then Francis gets to go back to Sarin Plax. <laughs> can you train me as well? Sure, I can show you how to fight with one-handed weapons. About Angus and Hank. Oh. Don't remind me of them. Why not? Probably got themselves killed by bandits. And it's, Angus had it was written pirates, right? Well, Shaw, sure, it was his ring, in a way. He won it from me playing dice. But I would have gotten it back, and now it's gone. I found them. So tell me already. Where are they? They're dead. The ring. What about the ring? Nobody cares about those guys except Bill, right? Here it is. Yes, that's it. Good man. Here. Take this stone tablet. It may look like a piece of junk, but Garrett will shell out a lot of gold for it. I want to join your troop. Yes, right, so we can fight <laughs> my now a troop. bit. My troop is hanging out at the beach. Those boys won't lift a finger until the captain is back. You can count on that. But if you want to show everybody what you're made of, feel free to work on the northern beach. It's full of lurkers and who knows what else. Take them on by yourself and you'll earn the respect of the people. Go back to sleep, my Welcome friend. To my troop. I'll go lay back down. So, we joined the group of the pirates. Monsters, blood flies. Yeah, this is a new portion that they added. I don't get why we have blood flies and uh, hornets. What's the deal with that? And why do they give so little experience? Oh, we got a rune? What kind of rune is that? Ah, a blank rune. I thought it was a teleport room. The waves are a bit loud. 
for my likings. We have the lizards here, lurkers, and whatnot. Right? The whatnot, we know what it is. We should be powerful enough to deal with it. We also have to increase our accuracy with the bow. Oh, another lizard there. It's scary when the game is lagging a bit or... Any clam, okay. Here used to be some other stuff. Magic or... I'm curious if behind that lizard on that... Post if there is something or is just out in the distance because it does it has a different texture than the rest of the world. Oh, silver chalice, okay. In the water probably there are more stuff. Somewhere should be the statue, the paladin statue. That was for the time being. We are not going to explore more here, except we don't know what we have to do, right? Go behind the in the cave. There we have our friend. Wow, that was luck that he wanted to go behind us, but they are still a big problem to us. But we manage it. We got their horn. We need that. We get a lot of experience and some money from it. So it looks like we cleared it. This is a spiny clan, right? Yeah. And the rest of the stuff, I don't know where they are. The goodies. So we can talk also with Samuel. He should have some information for us also. There he is, Samuel drinking. We got one piece of room from him. Hey, oh, Samuel. Ah, it's... A new face. Yes, what do the... you want? Rum or something stronger? Something stronger. I want to talk to you about Francis. Just don't mention that wannabe captain. He sits on his fat ass all day acting important. We'd all like to know what the hell the captain was thinking when he put him in command here. What do you want from that prig? Why cannot we steal from you and the other guy? I must get into Greg's hut. Oh, we really? simply tell him that. To do what? I need a bandit's armor. Ha <laughs> ha! Francis will never agree to let you go into the hut so that you can nab a few of Greg's things. Unless... Yes? You've got something he really wants. I know that Francis has hidden something in an abandoned mine in the canyon. Once, when we were on guard duty together and he dozed off as always, he went on about it in his sleep. I've no clue what he buried there, but maybe it's so important to him that he'll let you into the hut to get it back. <laughs> when the captain comes back and finds some of his things are missing, he'll have Francis's hide for it. Thank you for the information. I've come to get my ration. Oh, this grog. is the normal grog. You guys Damn don't it. do anything without your grog, huh? Right. Here you go. This is not what we want. We give me give rum. Me rum. Ah. This is mother's milk to a sailor. Here. Or was it something stronger? I want something stronger. I mean, that's uh, the other thing that we wanted. I'm always after new recipes myself. Decent booze should be clear and strong and burn your throat like liquid fire. You don't find that very often. But I'm talking too much. You want a drink? Yes. Here, my own recipe. How do you like that? I call it hasty herring. Oh, we just drank it. Impressive. You can say that again. You wouldn't happen to know a good recipe for booze yourself. We will you find do, some. You must tell me. We want will bring another? them to you for sure. Yes, please. Give me some of your hasty herring. Rather vile muck, but effective. That we need to give to the some guy. I want name. I forgot his name. What's new in the camp? Nothing much has been happening here since Greg left. Morgan and most of his boys been just hanging around and boozing all day. The only one who does anything at all is Henry. 
He and his boys are building the palisade. Good it's guys. high time for Captain Greg to come back and give that Francis a good swift kick in the ass. What else have you got? I can get you anything a pirate needs in order All right, to he survive. sells stuff also. He's the herring probably that costs money. What kind of ring of fire protection? Oh, swamp. Swamp weed, we need that. As I said, those swamp weeds we can give to a certain NPC for a lot of experience and money. Well, not a lot of money, but experience. And we need that. Morgan, my friend, we have something for you. The northern beach is all cleared. What about the cave? Have you been there too? Yes. Sure thing. Ah, great. You're a good man. Here's your reward. Is there anything else for me to do? Not nope. at the moment. Go find yourself a bunk and have a decent bottle of rum. Like you, right? Ah, this is good stuff. Oh well. So we only have to talk to the guy up here. So if you are... This is an easy thing. If you are a thief like us... Alright, let's explore what's here in the back. This is new. If you are a bandit, you not a bandit, if you are a thief like us, with pickpocket, you can get the key and get actually into the house of Greg. But there is more stuff to that, so we are we are going to steal it but not use the, the key yet. Unless we finish his quest. Meat box, what what are they eating here? Ah, uh, this is also cheap. We have new monsters or something. Okay, some rats. Oh, I stopped missing. So little experience they give. Remember when we started the rats were such a threat. Ooh, we almost fell down. Okay, there is nothing more, sadly. Just two rats and some... Oh, there's something else, yep. Two rats and... Four or five meat bugs. Can you please climb up? Nah, you don't want to climb up here, right? But here you should be able to. So, this is a new hut of Greg. The position of it is quite good. Makes more sense now that it's high up. That we can see more. Ah, oh, this looks beautiful. Francis! So, that's how we get the key from him. If we use it... Oh. Where did we save? I hope we saved in front of him. Yeah, we did. Hey, if we you... take it, we cannot talk to him, so... We are going to talk and then take the key. I must get into Greg's hut. Forget it. Greg's not there. And I've locked the door. And now I see to it that nobody sneaks around here to do a little looting. So make yourself scarce. Or I'll let you have it. Greg is your boss? Now don't try and tell me that you know him. Of course I know him. And his sailor. Even any cursed landlubber on this island knows the terrible Captain Greg. And he left me in command. Oh boy, you deserve I'm such a punch in the face. For making those lazy bums do what he commanded. Some of the boys may think they can do whatever they damn well want now that the captain's not here. Won't they be surprised when Greg comes back? I'll tell him everything that's been going you little on here. Rat. Got it? Including who's been trying to get into his hut. So make yourself scarce, or you'll be in a load of trouble. So we can... We can steal it from him, we can blackmail him from Samuel, what he told us. We have to go into the canyon a bit. We can beat him. Or we can bite of him, I believe. Give me the key to Greg's hut. 
You must be joking. Yep, you can buy it from him. But we will just steal it. Now we can go into the into the hut of Greg and summon the Greg practically here, but we are not going to do that. Because we want to blackmail him and want to finish the quests. We cannot sleep here, right? I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. Don't tell me you didn't. Sadly. We cannot sleep yet. So we still have a couple minutes. Oh, the pirates, they are coming here. Nice, we can cook our meat. And then we can go behind the other beach, on the other beach, and clear it and get the compass for the guy. Oh, we had 18 meat. Ooh, right, there was Brandon. Where is Brandon? We have something for him. He wanted something strong to drink. So we cannot steal from Brandon, and we cannot steal from Samuel. I don't know why. Anything. Wait a moment. Yeah, she has this kind of behavior. Not as far as I can see. Same old, same old. Teach me something. Ooh, he can teach us strength and dexterity. I can't teach you. One hundred and twenty. How much do we have? Don't tell me you didn't know that. 106, okay, then you can teach us a bit. Te Too bad on... Oh, nice. You are the mod. We have 116. What about... 17, 18, and that's it. We have no... Sorry, we have no more LPs. Come back. The mod. 118, that's very good, so more agility. Agility is very good. Don't tell me you didn't know that. 29 strength, right? We need the strength. We have 162 dexterity, that's very good. We can actually one shot razor, I believe. So we got stronger, we can go on the other beach. And clear it. We shall see if we can kill some of the monsters from here, from up here, because there are some powerful ones. As we know. Oh boy. They can get up here. I don't think we can hit them from so far away. We can two shot them, like really, if we hit them. Wow, I didn't expect us to hit that hard. And we can, we could get the dragon bow. Yeah, I don't know if it's really worth it to go back to the city and get a dragon bow horde, uh, bow, or we just do it with this bow. I believe we are strong enough with this bow anyway. We wouldn't one shot them anyway. I saw like it two shotting them. We just need to increase our bow range. And then we are set. The range and the accuracy. We see nothing in this kind of water. Dirty water. But we will be able to clear those monsters here. The simple lizard are no problem, we can take also one to hit from them. There we have a treasure. Treasure spot. Uh, I think so we got a compass for the guy. There's a pitch, we got it, okay. Now here we have some some beasts. Not sure if we deal any damage. Oh, we do damage, I thought they are. Oh, those sounds they make. 
Right of Paladin armor. Oh, sorry, what's that? We have to get far away from here. Paladin armor has a chance to uh, reflect the arrows, deflect them back. And one of them was a paladin zombie. So we clear this this side also of the pirates. The pirates are quite safe now, thanks to our nameless hero. We will go back, give the compass to the guy. And then we will make a cut, I believe. Yeah, wouldn't be bad. Next we will go into the canyon, get the stuff for the Francis and blackmail him. So with the Garrett, where are you, little Garrett? That's not what I heard. Where did he go? Ah, there he is, all alone. No idea. You tell me. Here, here's here's compass. a compass, yes, my friend. That's it. I never thought I'd see it again. Thanks, man. This time Greg won't get a hold of it again. Yeah, you better keep here. Take this belt in return. It's my most valuable piece. Things would have turned out different. Okay, so we are going to make a cut here. Thank you very much guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next episode. Be cool and bye bye.